I am the I am I am six seven five Dweeber's son. Um able to do this. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Seventh, up bright and early up here in Florida getting ready to head over to Jennings GP I was able to join a team for the Soprano race and endurance uh, endurance rounds that are coming up at Jennings here in the next couple weeks and today we're doing a meet and greet test and tune shakedown kind of thing so up bright and early man I'm getting over a pretty nasty flu that I've had all week I've got zero energy but this is pretty much the only test that we're going to be able to do until the actual race so the plan is to get out the Jennings meet up with the guys shake down the bike uh, see if we can figure out how much fuel we're going to need for the race see if we can test a couple different sets of tires to get that all worked out uh, work on hand signals and just a bunch of other things but overall just getting organized for this race and the best part of all just spending some laps on a new bike a buddy of mine was so kind enough to set us up with a Ninja 400 Superbike. We'll be running the Superbike class. Uh, Backmarker Racing. Backmarker Racing, by the way. Uh, sweet name, but brand new team. None of us have raced endurance before, so we're going to come together. Just have a good time and just figure it out. But about to hit the road, so let's get it. and everything though yeah there's something wrong with this though with the shifter yeah um fourth to fifth is super hard it doesn't want to go it keeps false shifting and it stays in fourth so i think the arm i don't know these bikes that good but you know like on the r6 the, the arm has to be completely 90 yeah for the shift arm to operate well he uh he, i don't know if you heard him but he said he's got it set up where he wants it to be at the top of fifth pretty much and not even worry about six. Okay. Is what he was saying. He's got it geared that way. Right now I have yeah. to hit six in the back. Yeah. Because okay. before because I'm not even breaking going into three. 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The speed translates to this, and it's like, oh shit, my eyes. I'm like, damn, I'm going slow. I'm like, damn, I'm going slow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What's up everybody, coming to y'all live from the garage slash shop slash storage unit, whatever I got going on in here, a little bit of everything. But uh, I just wanna take a second to talk about some gear real quick, gear. Uh, with Ford Motor Talk, we've been putting out a lot of deals with bikes, trying to get people on bikes, but we haven't taken a second to talk about gear at all. And I just wanna take a second to do that. Um, I have a lot, a lot of gear, you know, over 15 plus years of riding bikes. I've tried a lot, a lot of different um, brands, lots of different makes, and I'm still trying to figure out what I like the most, but what I'm using right now, the stuff I'm rocking right now is a pretty good setup. I'm pretty happy with it, and it's pretty much the best stuff that I've ever used. And I'm not gonna get fully into everything that I'm using in this video, but I'm just gonna talk about a couple pieces of equipment that I have to kind of help you know what's uh, what's good out there, at least just share with you what's working for me, and then maybe you can try it out yourself and like it. But this stuff is uh, it's been tested at this point. But my current setup, uh, I was on track this past week, had a pretty good crash last week uh, at Jennings, doing a test and tune, and had a low side going into turn nine as soon as I rolled on the throttle, just rolled back on, gave a little bit of gas, and then the back end just went out on me. Pretty sure it was the tires because we had a, a very old set of tires on the bike and we had been roasting them all day long. So I'm pretty sure that's what the issue was. But turn nine, pretty good low side, probably doing like, you know, 40, 45 miles per hour, somewhere in there. And just low side of the bike. And when that happened, I came off obviously, but this is the suit that I was wearing right here. And this is the RST suit, the R18. And I'm very, very happy with this suit right here. If you can see it, kind of just got it hanging out. Nothing special, but the RST R18, one piece suit. This is a company that's, uh, they're getting a lot bigger now. They got a couple sponsored riders in, um, you know, World Superbike and then overseas in the British series as well. And it's a really, really good brand. This was highly recommended to me when I was looking for a new suit a couple years ago. This thing's probably about, two two and a half three years old right now and you can't even really tell because this thing i keep it minty fresh after every race after every time i get this thing on track i take out some of the this leather conditioner and i clean it real good and i keep this thing looking good but um you can see right here where i went down so that turn nine at jenny's is the left hand turn and i went down or it's a right hand turn, my bad. That turn nine at Jennings is a right hand turn. I went down on my right side right here. And you can see that this suit crashed pretty good. I mean, it's got a little bit of rash on the leathers right here, up on the shoulder. I mean, you can clearly see where I hit and where I slid. And there's no tears in this. There's no rips. You just got a little bit of rash right here. And that's it. It's not as pretty as it was, but you know, th this suit's been pretty for a long time. It's been, it's been a couple years since I had a crash, literally a couple years. So this one caught me by surprise, but my suit is no longer minty fresh because of it. But just to kind of show you the quality of this suit right here. I had a lot of faith in the suit. I mean, just looking at it and you can tell too, I mean, the leather's super thick. The material's really, really nice. I mean, it's a very, very well put together suit right here. RST R18. Got the mesh on the inside right here for a little bit of breathing on the inside of the arms. Then you have it in here on the thighs too. I never get hot in this suit. I've ran this thing throughout the entire summer. And I use some, uh, like some Under Armour compression gear under here, the top and the bottom. And yeah, I never overheat in this thing. Lots of ventilation. You can see all the perforation in here. And it's a great suit. But yeah, 
Highly recommend this suit to anybody. This thing's wrecked. I'm going racing in two weeks and I'm still running this suit because I mean, it's not pretty, but it took the heat or it took the hit really, really good. And you can just keep on ticking. That's what you want. I walked away from this crash with, I just have a bruise on my left forearm, like a small bruise. That's it. And if you can crash and walk away, you're good. And this suit allowed me to do that, but highly recommend it. Lots of padding in the knees, lots of padding in the forearm right here, especially where I hit. I mean, you can see there's a, there's a whole plate that's right here for the entire forearm. And that's what took the brunt of that impact. I mean, I, when I hit the ground, I mean, I didn't even feel it. And then I slid from inside of turn nine all the way out into the grass slid and rolled and this was the extent of the damage but yeah highly recommend this let me flip this around for you Ugh. highly 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 recommend this to rst r18 very top level stuff very very top level stuff very affordable i actually bought this suit for i think it was on sale with stg for 399 bucks a couple years ago i mean you can't beat that and i mean it crashed that good highly recommend it and next i'm not getting into all my gear for this video just a couple little things just so we can get you pointing in the right direction rst go now for my gloves i've been rocking these predator uh or these plus predator gloves and traditionally i've all only ran alpine star gloves uh, all the top level gauntlet alpine star stuff and i wanted something different because my alpine stars were getting like the the stitching and the fingertips was coming off right here so i was like yeah, i hopped on the forum started asking around and people were saying man like check out plus it's a pretty new company um they're really kind of just getting established on scene right now, but I mean, you can't tell by the quality of the glove. This is the best glove that I've ever had, Predator Plus. And, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of other gloves out there, but these, I mean, I got these for 180 bucks. They were on sale. And once again, I mean, just top notch as far as the workmanship, where they're putting these things together. These are actually made of the kangaroo leather, but you can't really tell. And I mean, it, it's super thick. Stitching is on point. Carbon fiber knuckle guard right here with the plus. Real nice touch. Very, very nice touch. It has the uh, the stitching right here to keep your pinky. Taps to your other finger right here in case of a slide, you don't rip your finger off, don't want that. And there's a lot of padding that's in here. You got the palm support right here with the plastic sliders if you do go down on your hand. And just looking at it, I mean, you can you can tell that these gloves are very thick. They're very, very well put together. I absolutely love them. And then putting these things on. So when I got these, the first thing I wanted to do was get them broken in, but I didn't have any track days coming up. So I put these things on and I literally just went in my backyard and just started doing pull-ups. I have a pull-up bar in my backyard and I just started just doing pull-ups. They pretty much broke in, and then I did a couple races, a couple track days, and then got them really, you know, get, got some more sweat in there and got them really dialed in. But these things, I mean, they broke in quick. It's just molded to my hand. I mean, you can see my hand in here right now. I mean, full range of motion in all of my fingers. And with how thick the glove is, you wouldn't think that it would move that well, but I mean, full articulation in my wrist. I mean, it. These, these things are just great. They fit like a glove and they are just, man, I mean, they're just so plush on the inside. I mean, plush on the inside, plush on the outside. You can see just the amount of, the amount of effort that they put into putting, in putting these gloves together. And I would even say that, I mean, it's a, it's a budget gauntlet at, at 180 bucks. I mean, that, I would say that's a budget glove and you just cannot beat this quality. And then once again, I mean, I crashed in them. <laughs> I crashed in them, and we—I mean, we're looking at them now. You—you you can't even tell. Here's my right hand, or my left hand. Goodness, I'm all jacked up with my left hand. So it's getting late around here. But left hand. This is the right. So this is the side that I went down on. 
all it got was a little bit of a little rash on the knuckle right there. I mean, you probably can't even probably can't even see it. A little bit of rash on the knuckle. There we go. A little bit of rash on the pinky. I mean, just the smallest bit of rash right here on the pinky. And that's it. And that's from sliding about 40, 45 miles per hour. Good little slide. Hit the ground. I rolled around, slid off track. That's all we got. So, highly recommend these two. Oh, and then a little bit of rash on the plastic guard right here, but once again, not a big deal at all. A little bit of rash on the interior right here, on the interior fall, but not a big deal at all. Oh, dropped it. Not a big deal. So, these have been crash tested by me now. This was all I got. A little bit of rash. That's it. My hand's fine. My pinky didn't get ripped off. And absolutely best of all, I spent 180 bucks on a pair of gloves that I have now crashed in. And then I can still just pick them up and continue. So for gloves, if you're looking for some good gauntlet gloves, I'd recommend these for the street too, just cause they're so, I mean, they're gauntlet gloves, they're race gloves, but they're so comfy. I mean, you can look in here and kind of see, there's like this like really sweet, like felt material that's in here. And your, I mean, your hands just feel great. It doesn't matter if it's the middle of winter, the middle of summer. I mean, you just, these feel great. Hands inside feel great. Full mobility in the hands feels great. I recommend them for racing. I recommend them for daily riding. They would get the job done. But Predator Plus are the gloves that I'm rocking right now. Highly recommend them, crash tested. And then the RST R18 One Piece Leather Suit. RST. Crash tested, approved by John from Florida Moto Talks. But uh, that's all I got for you today. Like I said, I just wanted to share a little bit of some of the gear I'm, I'm rocking with. If you want links for this stuff, just let me know. I'll drop it in the description, let you know where I got it. And um, I have a lot of other gear too. If you guys like this video, I'll go ahead and do another one for uh, my helmet and the boots that I'm wearing right now, as well as a bag protector. And uh, we can do that in another video. But thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you need some gloves or you need a suit, RST or Predator, the Plus Predator gloves. All right, I will see y'all on the next one.